You can look at me. You want to look at me in the eyes? No, no, no. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Mike Barbo Brigade Show. Hi, guys. Subscribe. Anyway, so. What's going on, guys? So, uh, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, that was a really shit done. How was this, uh, though? Intro. I told you I can't zoom in on that. It's what is small. that? We can't see it. It's just hair. What are you doing? It's not bad. What? It's not bad. Come on, Stacy D. What? Just give me it. A little like yeah, you've This done is a creepy curl. I can literally hear you In my ear talking like that Yeah Cause it's stop. called headphones <laughs> It's like ASMR Yeah he's like Come on Stacey Yo stop No I didn't say it like ASMR that ASMR creeps me out I didn't say it like <laughs> that Okay go Okay so uh, <laughs> For this episode Mike's actually said He has something That he wanted to bring up Look Stacey D I think CrossFit, powerlifting, weightlifting has so, done some really cool things for ladies uh, in general, uh, giving them confidence to work out, dress, and lift how they like, despite what I think pop culture says about women lifting weights, making them bulkly or manly. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that, I think that's really old now. I don't think so. Really? I think in, in if you go to the I majority... I think we're just in it that we think it's... Yeah, it's we're old. stuck in this thing. All your friends lift weights, all our friends lift weights. They know it's dumb, but I think pop culture still puts that out there because that idea had to come from somewhere. No right. one just made that up. That had to come from pop culture. I think culture. it came from the fact that dudes were lifting weights and then they were buff, so Maybe. women thought. Maybe. But, uh, but, but you look at magazines and all this stuff, the, the stereotypical model, they're still stick thin. They have no muscle. They have no fat. They have yeah, no yeah. nothing. Um, but I think it's clear if you go to a gym that's unlike Barbell Brigade, yeah. somewhere else, that there's just generally less women in the free weight section. I think we, everyone in the world can agree with that. At least in America, that's just so the common. So I think 100%, yeah. So I think actually the Why other, do you think that is and maybe some ideas to fix it or not fix it or what? So I think okay, so I've been going to the gym, regular gym probably for 6 years at this point. And basically when I first started, I was probably like one of the few girls. There was like three of us at the gym in the weight weights area, right? The other day, I was at my global gym, the commercial gym, and then I looked up and like I kind of took a moment to see and there was like hella girls in there. I was mm. so fucking proud. I was like, "Damn, this is so dope." Like, here I am at the squat machine, this girls on the cable machine, this girls in the Smith machine, you know what I mean? Like, you could see so many of us and they weren't even like super fit chicks that were like bodybuilders or that were only like already a professional sure. in whatever sport you know because there's like like faces i think like the beginner that you're like oh i think i'm gonna go in you know and then there's the one where you're like oh i, I don't know what i'm doing but i'm figuring it out and then when you're like i just want to build muscle you know yeah. there was a couple of girls that were like just two friends you know kind of like guiding each other and then they were just getting into shape and i was like this is cool like it was the first time i probably saw like 10 to 11 girls in the weight room and i was like that's awesome it was like a random wednesday morning and i was proud of that now i don't know if it's different we live in california in la we're kind of trendsetters when yeah it comes to we're, like that. we're trendsetters and here things are a little bit more open and people are more open to the idea um but i was proud and i definitely think and encourage women to do that you know that's what i've been doing since i started my fitness career um and i don't see anything negative with it like what the fuck why would we not yeah i agree i agree 100 and that's obviously my opinion why i preach strength and conditioning to everybody because i think there's guys also that are like well i have no goals to be a bodybuilder and obviously this is an extreme why would i lift weights well you know the benefits of lifting weights physical mentally uh even spiritually many can get into it but building habits for the rest of your life let alone the actual biological uh benefits of uh, more bone density uh more lean body mass preventing a large amount of diseases and possible uh, health threats as we right. age um, is the same for male and female, let alone looking better, let alone the confidence, let yeah. alone just starting your day on a win. There's a bit you know, like there's a lot of losses, a lot of negativity, a lot of shit in life. You're going to get rejected. You're going to lose. You're right, gonna lose. Right, right. If you start your day on a win every single day, there's no such thing as really a bad workout. You get in, you get a win, you set that mood. Um, Wait, what's the negative side of it? Why would people not want girls in there? Well, and my question was going to be, so I don't think that no one doesn't want girls in there. As well, far as well, 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 um, what I, what you were talking about off camera. So you were telling us that you kind of had a little bit of a backlash on one of your videos when you talked about this, what were dudes saying? So basically what all I said, eh, eh, there wasn't a backlash about girls training the gym. I don't think that's ever, an, uh, 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 someone would ever come out and say, no, girls shouldn't be in the gym. Not mm, in 2019. Maybe, maybe. Um, but the backlash became is basically what I do on my Twitch or YouTube. Sometimes is I'll find an article and I'll go through it, whether I agree with it or disagree with it and give you either the 
science that I know or data on it, or just give you my opinion in my 10 years in the industry being a strength coach and say what I, I say or feel. What do you think? And, and so there was one on gender gap in the gym, and they went into different instances where girls uh, feel intimidated in the gym because of uh, different masculine type figures um masculine uh toxic masculinity is a huge conversation on the internet right now yeah. with the gillette commercial and just general uh pop culture right now um talking about the guys wearing fucking tanks grunting in the mirror spitting oh, yeah. everywhere this and that may not make a lady feel welcome in the Fitness, gym so yeah so maybe I'm it's a little different <laughs> but but you know depending on the gym and the situation and no i'm not saying every guy that works out is like that we're just broad stroking because we're talking about a huge societal thing here so you have to broad stroke Bear with me. Um, another uh, comment was like, well, that's weird. You know, and they, then then guys, I feel like, get defensive. Well, that's weird. I don't see a guys only gym, gym referring to that there's gyms that are made for women to go to, which I think is fine if that's what they need to feel comfortable. But I also think in the larger concept is ridiculous that we had to get to that point that we have to have sex segregated gyms. I understand why they're there because the ladies don't feel safe yeah. uh, and I get that but if you look up here that's absolutely stupid what if we said there's a beard only gym or a fucking Afghan only gym like that is so dumb we should be well beyond that point now and sadly we're just not because guys and uh, guys and girls alike maybe there are bodybuilding girls that don't make normal girls feel comfortable it may not just be guy versus girl right. it's just people in the gym and I may be guilty of this also without knowing it I go into the gym headphones on hat down because I just in there for me and yeah. maybe I look like an intimidating bitch maybe is it is it what I mean to do no and if anyone ever talked to me I try to be as nice as I can and if someone asked for a squat help I'd fucking help them right away but that's just my ugly face I can't change it and I'm concentrated <laughs> you know so I understand the scope and I understand that there's many instances within this um, but there is one side that just fights back and they fought back at me when I well, what they say what I just said, uh, they basically just said, well, there's no gym just for guys and this is what we do. And they basically would call me a social justice warrior when I'm just stating pure facts from anecdote and my experience, noticing similar to Stacy that more girls are in there. And I think that's cool. Uh, pure science. In fact, from my Maybe these are trolls. Uh, I don't think so. I think you they're. Think they I think really they're real thoughts. Like yeah, I think real guys feel that Damn. way, and I think they feel um, kind of the backlash of you know the same thing with guys being anti-feminism. And sure, to the extreme in any group we have. People, the crazy ones. There, there's people yeah. that are outspoken and taken to extreme. There's so many feminists that are now anti-guys, which yeah. I think is obscure too. But I understand being feminist and being pro-women. That's absolutely fine. And that's a big deal with everything we do from day-to-day -day bullies onto a social scale or even a uh, uh, political scale where you don't have to be anti-someone else to promote your own things right. or to be pro. I'm pro-woman. I'm pro-guy. I'm pro-everybody doing their own shit and not fucking up other people. But sadly, in our society, people shit on other people. Do you feel like there's uh, that where like girls aren't like welcome or they? they I've just... never experienced it myself, um, but I think that I've n also never really cared. You know what I mean? Like I often get questions on my Instagram for girls that are like, "Well, how do I go into the gym without like people staring at me?" And I'm like, "Look, people are gonna fucking stare, especially if you're good looking. Especially, you know what I mean? Like." if what people don't realize is that you give yourself more attention than you think you're getting yeah. because you can walk into a gym and like do your thing and no one's even going to look twice Guys think the well, same right the well, i have a pimple here everyone's noticing it yeah, but yeah. half the right. world didn't we all do it's, it's like it's, part it's of human thing, nature like, when you're like uh freaking out because you're giving a presentation in class and everyone's like looking at you but then they're all fucking thinking about what they're going to eat later on. They're thinking about what they're going to eat they're thinking about their presentation they're thinking right. about what people are looking at them and i think even at the gym like especially like no one is there for you like no one is there to look at you or like what you're going to be doing if you're doing something wrong to the point that somebody has to come and tell you something like you're you're probably not doing something that bad you know like whatever you think you're doing wrong someone has done eight times worse another thing the article brought up and i would i can't quite remember exactly what it brought up but it, it likened it to ladies running and not feeling safe running which i agree even more it's more extreme right a lady running through the park or a public yeah. neighborhood or whatever not feeling as safe because obviously abductions do happen uh sexual assault yeah. does happen violence does happen although be it it is a smaller percent of if you take everyone that goes running how many get taken it probably shouldn't happen and there it definitely shouldn't happen and ladies shouldn't have to feel scared of that but in our society they do i would think that although a gym may be intimidating again i can't speak on it i'm a fucking middle of the road dude uh, never been a lady don't know um, <laughs> but uh, the gym sh although feeling intimidated should feel safer than 
you exercising on your own. And I don't know if women maybe just throw the same together in their head. I don't know. I've never really thought of like, oh, um, I mean, definitely when I like when I used to run when I was younger, like I used to run around my block. Um, definitely like now I can't picture myself running. I don't know yeah. if it's because I'm older and I'm like, oh, there's more danger. I watched yeah. too much true crime. I have no idea. But now I don't feel safe. I've never thought of the gym as an unsafe place. Yeah. You know, there's more people. Yeah, there's and- people there. You check in, you check out. There's cameras, you know, but I think that like there is no reason for women to not be in the gym and anyone who says otherwise i think is a douchebag i think so too who do you think you are that you deserve the right to tell people who who should and shouldn't be there like bitch you don't own this gym like who the i pay the same 30 dollars you do you have no right to tell anybody who i've never i've never heard of anyone being like girls aren't allowed um i do think uh like you said like a gym is a safer place for them to be they shouldn't be afraid i think it's a lot of things that they maybe put on themselves uh, same goes for guys that guys are who because I get questions all the time like uh, like the same thing like how do I sign up or I'll, even to barbell which for me it's like barbell is like the safest place right like, barbell can be intimidating though that's the thing right. so like a lot of people think it's intimidating because they're such like the strongest guys or like you want a power lift so you go you leave uh, a commercial gym for this and all yeah. that stuff and it's like but I tell people it's like we have old ladies that come in, we have old men we have uh, yeah. young kids we have um, all these different types and it's the um, uh, like I always bring up the fact one of our homies like Steve Gentilly, he's the the, the scary looking guy, right? Um, but you start talking to him and he's so fucking nice. And he's like, uh, if you see something, if you need help, he's like down to help you out and do all these things. But it's uh, it's because you're you're you come in with these things of like how you perceive it and the intimidation, and I completely get. Uh, but then it's also things that you're putting on yourself because sure. they're not they're not doing anything to you. But then there are instances where there's the assholes that stare at you like, get out of my way if you're doing this. And especially yeah. if you're someone that they can punk on, they will. Yeah. Right. And if anyone, y'all, I need you guys to fucking start defending yourselves because if anyone tells me get out of my way, I'm swinging. Like, who the fuck are you? You I don't go know around if people me. are as verbal with it as they are judgmental, you know, like I, right. Yeah. Judgment. And yeah. look, if anyone has anything to say about you to themselves, that's none of your business and yeah. not your problem. Like if someone's like, ooh, who does she think she is looking like that in those shorts or whatever they may be saying, that's not my There's problem. That they're dealing with that they're not secure with yeah know? like if some bitch wants to say some shit about you because you're cute in your shorts or you're out here doing your thing then let her say whatever she needs to say that has nothing to do with you i don't think you, you need keep to doing be, your thing uh like outspoken or say something unless that's your personality like you would you know right and what i'm saying is i'm not saying like go tell her something yeah, i'm okay. saying don't like that's none of your you. business don't let, yeah don't let yeah it like you, you like, just keep doing your thing and wear your shorts and do your thing at the gym like yeah. you deserve the right and the space to be there just as much as anyone else who says that you shouldn't be there like yeah, i just think that uh, there is still a bunch of myths out there of ladies working out getting bulky or what toning means or why you're lifting weights or why you're not lifting weights um, and if there's no performance enhancing drugs if there's no anabolic steroids in there you're not going to turn no. any more masculine if anything you might get more feminine you might get a little peaches on the back you might get some cakeys Curves. going on uh, yeah and, and you'll probably look better no one ever looked worse with less fat yeah. and more muscle so no yeah. one on the planet <laughs> ever looked worse I, I used to believe that because that's what everyone would say but then I think one of the biggest things that they said and was like was like, dude, how long have you been lifting? I was like, oh, like three years. They're like, and why don't you look like a bodybuilder? Wow. Why aren't you super jacked? You know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, damn, that's true. And guys have way more testosterone than girls, yeah. you know? And we, we have the ability to build way more muscle. Um, so imagine a girl trying to do the same thing. It's it's hard. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. really hard. So and it, it's and like, it was easy for CrossFit and powerlifting and weightlifting to kind of get girls involved because the girls that are more likely to go to that were athletes. Uh, yeah. Similar, right? You played college volleyball. Yeah. And you're like, all right, well, now my career is over. What do I do? You found CrossFit. Yeah, it's competitive. Competed, and it's yeah. made for athletes. Like, oh, yeah, athletes come and do this. It's kind of what happens. But the regular gym, you know, I think the public perception or regular perception is like, well, Fat people go to the gym. This is where old people go. This is where you go when you're and unhealthy. I don't even, I yeah. it, it or this is like just something I do for the, my conscience. The conception that people aren't also, uh, they're naive about uh, people taking steroids too. Sure. Where, oh, especially with I used Instagram, to think, media. I used to think all these fucking um, Olympians were natural. I was like, oh, I just take my protein because that's what they put out. Like, oh, you take this protein <laughs> and you're going to get like this. So I'm like, okay, cool, right? Um, but in the regular population, they're like, they don't know about the steroids. They don't no. know about this. They, they just think, even they, they think creatine is a steroid. They yeah, think yeah. the protein powder is a steroid. Um, and it's like so readily available. So it's like, I think it's a, if you are afraid, just do your research, but also know that you're welcome wherever you want to be. You know, research yeah. is hard too. It's a hard topic that I think about all the time. And it's part of why I do what I do here on this, on my YouTube, wherever, uh, trying to spread what I think is science backed and the truth. Uh, because there's, 
as much as we work hard and our friends work hard to put out the right information and to right. really help people with the right path, there's just as many p- people still putting out YouTube bullshit. So when you Google how to gain muscle, it's a 50, 50 shot. You know what I mean? You could do research and be researched in the wrong spots. Yeah. And then, and then obviously the big public figures, these people with sh- health shows on the main channels, they're spewing bullshit to drink this green powder yeah. and detox your eyes and your liver. Like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. My body has a detox system in there. Drink some water, move around, eat some vegetables. You'll probably be okay to detox yourself. And so it's honestly a, a an upward battle. It's an uphill fight. It's an uphill climb, but, um, and obviously, all you've already found the truth. You know, yeah. you're, you're you're watching channels like Barber Brigade and hopefully Omar and my buddy Alan Thrall that are putting out really good shit. Um, I mean, even the people that watch this, they leave comments that still want to know, you know. For sure. It's like, does, uh, but I'm just saying, they're, they're already in the know. It's the people that not, we not can't. Necessarily. I think they're more in the know they're, than they're the more, people they I'm might talking be more about. The know, if you'd found Barber Brigade channel and Jim, you're more in the know than what I'm talking about. Because maybe they just stumbled across this video, you know. Like, I well, think, then subscribe. You found the truth. <laughs> I Open think, your third eye, your sixth consciousness. We're going to the twelfth dimension, and I'm gonna take you to health and happiness more than the mind can imagine. Look, yeah. you guys, focus on topic. The topic was women being in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think. <laughs> We went into I just went to helping the entire planet. I leveled up. Right. You take it, you level up. Look, I think that regardless of, because I do want to say a message to the girls who are thinking and maybe somehow stumbled into this message, I mean, this video, you deserve to be there just as much as anyone else does. And even though it is a little bit intimidating, once you push yourself for a day, a week, or maybe even a month, you'll find that you're finding good things that happen there you know and people will be a lot nicer if you ask or you just keep to yourself there's plenty of good youtube videos on how to do a deadlift or how to do a back row or how to do things so that you go with the knowledge right if you know what you're doing you'll feel more comfortable and more confident in the things you're going to be doing um and just know that you are part of the change if in your town no one goes to the gym and it's just guys just show up and see what happens you never know who you may meet or what the outcome may be or who yeah. you may inspire and yeah. I, I think uh for the guy side because i mean i can't speak on the behalf of girls but it's right. like i've been intimidated to go to the gyms i've done all this stuff i've fell into like the wrong research i've done everything but i think we're all at the point and no like there's, there's nothing we're not going to find out like oh yeah maybe girls do get jacked if they work out no like we know the truth and it's it's just that yeah it like all the the stuff that you hear online it's 99 percent bullshit you know the the if you want to break it down and, and cross all fitness um if you just eat properly sleep properly uh you'll be fine if you want to go to the gym go to the gym don't be intimidated if anyone's intimidating you know that you're above that person you're better than that person yeah. because you you are, you know, like if someone's putting someone else down just for the simple fact of gender, uh, how they look or anything, already use that as like, I'm better than you in, internally, you know, and that uh, you don't have to deal with them. But then uh, if there's a place, because you might go to a gym that they are doing that, go to a different gym. You don't need to True. surround yourself there's with There's a lot yeah. of, yeah, you know, so there's other options. Um, do different things. And I think in terms of like, um, like the supplement industry, all these things, especially for the girls that they see, like, um, cause girls do have more of the detox teas, the, the, the juices, juices yeah. all, that, yeah. all, all that from like these people, one, they're making money off of it. So if yeah. there's anything that you have to do that you have to buy something because of this person, just know that they're making money off you. If you just stick to the basics of training, sleeping, eating, you are probably at a better advantage or literally at the top advantage. The supplementation comes. It's a supplement. It's a supplement that you don't really need, you know, or like these detox and stuff like a multivitamin, you'll be good. Like you can, I, I will have the same exact results if we're training and you're taking protein. And I'm not, cause I'm still eating, you know? Yeah. I take so. nothing and look how goddamn swole I am. Yeah. And uh, if any of you guys ever do feel intimidated to come to Bar Brigade uh, or any other gyms like zoo culture or gold's gym or anything, uh, know that we're open because we want people to feel safe. There might be big ass guys, uh, but we also shut down the the bad vibes in the gym. If there's people that are causing intimidation, we don't really like that. And luckily, we only um, put out good vibes, so we get good vibes. So yeah, yeah. if there's um, things like that, and everyone's dope there. Yeah. So it's it's uh, not that you're doing anything wrong, but if you do have feel intimidation, just maybe think maybe I'm setting up these limits for myself. You yeah. know. Um, I can't speak on other gyms, but like I know like the the, the ones I mentioned are uh, a good and safe place to go. True. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Stacy's been a dope guest. If you guys uh, ch- want to check out her stuff, uh, Stacy Diaz Ac- Apodaca. A P O D A C A. Yeah, check out your YouTube channel. A P O C D A.
Okay, they don't stop. smash the oh. table. They uh, got it though. It was fucking. It'll be in the link down below, you guys. Yeah, so check out her stuff. Uh, YouTube and Instagram it's is in the link be below. First single. Check out Mike, and uh, yeah, Don't we'll see you guys next time. You see the little Bye shout guys. out he gave me? Check out that guy. <laughs> Just follow that guy.